Good afternoon. Uh, Sean here from Matthew Heart Therapy. Um, so today I'm going to dedicate this uh, video to all the seniors in the facilities that are locked down because of COVID-19. I wish I could come see you, but that is not the case. So today I'm going to go for a walk through the woods. It's a beautiful springtime day here in Stouffville. And I'm going to show you some of the beautiful flowers that are starting to bloom and some of the other plants that are coming up. So let's start, shall we? And I'm going to flip the camera around if I can. So here we are in the woods, going down an old logging road. And the first thing I see is some colt's foot flowers coming up. And there's some colt's foot leaves as well. And this is the road we're going to be going down. This was my great uncle's logging road. He used to bring down the horses here to get some of the trees. They'd use for firewood and for doing different things. So we're going to start walking down here. As you can see that there's a big hill up top there. The top of the hill is where I live. Nope, nobody gets dizzy. A lot of different types of trees down here. So we have some big cedars. A big maple. It's leafing out now. Some lovely ferns down here coming up. We might be able to find some fiddleheads if we're really lucky. Lots of dead paper birch trees. Birds. All right, we're going to just take a little detour here, over here, and we're going to go take a view of a little kettle lake. It's one of the farthest south kettle lakes in Canada. A little boardwalk here because it's very marshy. to take a video and walk at the same time. There we go. These are all cedar planks so they won't rot. See how much marsh there is around here. And here they grow lots of picture plants. And different flowers. Here is the lake. See, it's surrounded on all sides by steep hills. That's why it's called a kettle lake, because it looks like a kettle that you use for boiling up your fried chips, actually. So this is where I learned how to swim. And just over here, if you can see it or not, but there is the flowers of the cranberry. There it is there. That's the flowers of the cranberry. So I'm hoping this year we'll get to be able to pick some cranberries. Lots of water strider bugs. Well, you can hear the woodpecker way up there somewhere. All right, 
Let's continue on into the forest. Around here there's lots of cedar trees. Oh, and there's some fiddleheads. There, oh, there they are. There are the fiddleheads there. People can eat those. I've never tried them myself, but maybe one day I'll get around to it. So those are the baby ferns that are just uncurling. So deeper we go into the forest. I'm hoping to see some jack in the pulpit and some trilliums. So we shall see. What we shall see. And maybe if we're really lucky, we'll be able to see a red trillium. And we're going to have to go pretty far into the forest to see that. Oh. See our first jack in the pulpit. And it is right here. And looking for Jack. Where's Jack? Oh, there's Jack. Oh. What I saw before was a purple Jack, but this one's not quite so purple. Might be a younger. Yeah, I think it's quite a young little plant. Very pretty, very picturesque. Alright. More fiddleheads. The trees, how tall they are. Nice to just be quiet and listen to the birds calling, trying to see if there's any squirrels around, or chipmunks.
Still no trilliums. But they're farther into the forest. I don't know if you can see the bumblebee or not, it's pretty fast. Ooh, we're coming up on some... They've finished flowering for the season. But over here, we have some trout lily. And you can see the, the markings. It looks a bit like the speckled trout. See that there? So, but unfortunately, yeah, they have a beautiful little yellow flower. But they are finished for the season. Well, you never know. Sometimes you see a late one. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled. Okay, let's go off the beaten path for a minute because I think I see a trillium way over there in the bushes. So let's hop over and take a look. Lots of trout lilies. Try not to sip on them all. Aha, I see our first. Trillium. Where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Uh, there is the... Oh, that's a beautiful one. Very picturesque. And surrounding it is all this blue cohosh. It, when it first comes up in the spring, it's a dark, dark purple and then it fully just turns to this normal shade of green. It's quite amazing how that changes. Alright, here we are back on the path. Oh, and we're coming up to some wild leaf. And they are there. Getting them just like regular leeks. I love nice leek stew. It's delicious. Now we're still looking for that elusive red trillium. I think we've got a ways to go yet. There's some more of the white ones.
is another jack in the pulpit. There you go. Yes, let's see these. Oh yeah, that's a purple one. You can see the stamen is nice and purple inside. Cute little guy. See lots of woods around here. See what's up here. I see. Some trillions that aren't flowering at the moment. Hmm. Oh, this is a good treat. It's almost finished flowering. There it is. Another lily. Although I don't know if it's a trout lily because it doesn't look like a speckled leaves. Oh, look at all the white trilliums over here. Beautiful.
think we should almost be there. The red trillium was there yesterday, but of course, it's getting so warm, things are happening fast. are but they are beautiful hmm. this looks a bit like gout weed but I'm not 100% sure what that is another unique fern with red leaves red orange leaves just coming up And, oh, I see a clump of bloodroot over here. That's uh, one of the earliest flowering spring flowers. The herb, I think they used to use it for dyes. I could be wrong. That's why it's called bloodroot. That's the root. This is a red dye. couple of jack in the pulpits. One, two, oh, there it is. One, two, here we go. Just gorgeous, beautiful red trillium. Ah, oh, I'm glad we found one. When I was here back in Saturday, last Saturday, there were I saw three or four of them. But because they're not as brightly colored as the white, they're more typical to see. Oh, here's one here. I think this one's almost finished. Yeah, it's not quite as nice. Ooh, and some yellow violets as well. And here is another one. And this one is, yeah. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's almost finished. So they don't last as long as the white ones do, but they're very pretty. So there you have it. Some more wild leeks up here. And you never know, sometimes you find some nice skunk cabbage around here as well, but usually more in the valleys. So, but uh, thank you very much, everybody, and uh, hopefully we'll see you one of these days soon.